Hi, first grade. Today in grammar, you will be reviewing verbs and time. Review verbs and time. Some verbs tell what is happening now. Some verbs tell what happened in the past. Add ed to most verbs to tell about the past. Clue words such as now, today, yesterday, and last night help tell when an action happens or happened. Let's look at a few examples. First, we have the column that says now. Andrew washes his hands now. This is taking place in the present, right now. Shara climbs the mountain with her friends. This sentence is also taking place right now. Let's look at those sentences if we change them to be happening in the past. Andrew washed his hands last night. Notice we have the ending ed at the end of our verb, and we can use last night as a clue to tell that it happened in the past. We also have Shara climbed the mountain with her friends yesterday. Our clue word would be yesterday to know that it happens in the past. We can also tell because the ending of the verb is ed. Let's do some practice questions. Use a verb from the word bank to complete each sentence with the correct present tense or past tense verb. Our choices are play, visit, formed, drifted, and laughed. Let's look at number one. Snow blank down to the ground last night. Which word do you think goes in the blank? If you said drifted, you would be right. We know that it happened in the past because it says last night, so we will look for verbs that end in ed, and drifted makes the most sense. Number two, everyone wants to blank outside this afternoon. What word would go in that blank? Play, good job. Number three, Janie blank the snow into balls and waited. Which word would go in that blank? Formed. Good job. Number four. Everyone blank when our dog rolled in the snow. Which word would go in that blank? Laughed. Great job. And number five. Now we will blank the neighbors and see their snowman. Is this happening in the present or in the past? Our clue word is now, so we know it's happening in the present. A good verb to go in this sentence would be visit. Great job, first grade.